Because we're now learning it was a longtime employee who walked into work at a Virginia Beach Municipal Center and began shooting. CBS reporter Natalie Brand brings us the very latest on this unfolding situation. Natalie. And we just learned that the president has been briefed on this devastating shooting and is monitoring the situation from here. We've also learned that the governor of Virginia is now headed to the scene. He wrote on Twitter that his heart breaks for the victims of this devastating shooting and their families. A gunman opened fire Friday afternoon at Virginia Beach's Municipal Center, killing at least 11 people and injuring several others. We have multiple live victims that are coming out. Police rushed to the scene with some taking cover behind vehicles. We are still actively clearing the building for victims and secondary suspects. Police said the suspect, who was killed in an exchange with responding officers, was a longtime public utilities employee. They believe he was the only shooter. We do know that shortly after 4 p.m. this afternoon, the suspect entered Building 2, and he immediately began to indiscriminately fire upon all the victims. A responding police officer was also shot. Authorities say his vest saved his life. Workers at the city government complex heard the gunfire and took cover. My boss, um... Basically, it was like, this is not a drill, get down, call 911. There was probably about 20 of us in an office crammed in. We barricaded the door. The area was put on lockdown as officers searched the building room by room. The shooting in building two of the municipal centers next to City Hall and the police and sheriff's departments. Investigators later said the scene of the attack was secure as the investigation continued into the evening. And we know that the motive is still under investigation, but CBS News has learned that a law enforcement official says the shooting is being investigated as a workplace violence incident. We've also learned that tomorrow a citizen's training had been planned to respond to active threats. Veronica? Natalie Brown, live for us in Washington. Natalie, we appreciate it. Thank you.